Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a wig from Uniwigs. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Um, here is the box. And I have not seen this, but this is Lisa 01 in Chocolate Caramel AL16. I had contacted Andrew about six weeks ago and asked him if he could send me another wig. And I asked for a salt and pepper one, and then I didn't hear a reply back for three or four weeks. And then, and sometimes it's like that. And then he said, well, I don't have another salt and pepper, but I do have Lisa in another color. Would you like to have her? And I said, sure. So here she is. So let's just open her up, see what she looks like. Now she is clipped in. You know, wigs always clips their wigs down and okay had a little bit of a <laughs> extracurricular activity there with my camera so there is some swag it comes with a wig cap and it oh it comes with two wig caps so this is really nice so of course it has the little combs that you know wigs always sends that you can you know so that you can sew these in where you want them to go clip the wig down where you like for it to be clipped so here she is again it is lisa 01 chocolate caramel al16 she has the basic wig cap she has got the adjustable straps here in the back really cool like that like the way uniwigs does their straps it's got this little sliding configuration on it and I really like that. And I always like to stitch that down just so it, you know, stays in place. But I really like this better than I do the hooks. Now, it's a basic open cap. The La Vivid Collection is just kind of a shake and go wig. And let's see what this color looks like. Woo, she's a little wild. But I do like this color. So, yeah, she's cute. So when I come back, I'm going to have this wig on my head. Okay, so here she is. Let me try to get, move the camera back just a little bit. Here she is right out of the box. Let me get, move over. Now, she has got a few little blonde highlights in her. It's kind of a caramel color blonde. And let me turn around so you all can see. I haven't done anything to this wig. This is just how she came right smack dab out of the box. So her hair is soft. Now she does have some permatease right up here on top. So if you're not a fan of permatease, that might be an issue, but I like permatease because it really, it gives me some height that I really need because I am so short. So here she is. I really like her. I mean, I'm a fan of, the, of, of Lisa. I've got Lisa in almond frost i think it's almond frost rooted or it may be it may be a, it's maybe another color but it's a blonde and i'll do a comparison of these i'll do a, a wig comparison of this one and the one i have sometimes so you can see the difference in the color but i really like her let me style her just a bit and i'll be right back so here she is after i've messed with her just a little bit i took her in the bathroom and i hit her with the steamer here on top a little bit because she was really she had a lot of flyaways here so i took her in there and just hit her good with that and i kind of steamed it down right here in the back because it was stick, sticking out just a bit but other than that i have done nothing else to this wig now she does have the bendable tabs on the side so you can bend those down to where it hugs your head a little bit more you can also if you like tuck that behind your ear and give yourself a little you know make it into kind of a little long pixie i do like that and i will probably nip the bangs just a fuzz but honestly i don't know that this wig needs a whole lot done to it other than that it she's cute i like her and i actually really like this color and you know what i don't mind this color on me and normally i don't gravitate towards the brunette wigs but you know what i really like this one i think she is she is really really cute and I love the caramel color. Now, 
this is my lighting is pretty true today as much as I can tell um, I have messed with my lights just a bit to try to get it to get some of that yellow out of the light and so I think I've gotten it pretty good today so this is pretty true to color she is cute I like it this is a this is a hit I've always liked the Lisa style and I love this 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 color and I love this cut of this Lisa I think that it's just cute it's cute as it can be so I'm really happy that I was able to resume my relationship with Una wigs and reconnect with them and you know do that you know review this wig I think this wig is really cute but now let me show you the part um, the part is a permatease part so I wanted to make sure to show you that so you all could wouldn't be so you know when you get it you wouldn't be surprised because this, this does have some permities there in that part but there's not a tremendous amount of permities throughout the wig just mainly right there in that part to get, make it look a little bit more realistic looking and if you are you know paranoid about the way the part looks with permatease you can always wear a headband and it kind of you know it hides it just a little bit I do that a lot on my wig just simply because Number one, I like headbands, and I, I just, I like them, and with a wig, I can wear them, and they look good, and with my own hair, when I wear them, I look, it just kind of looks like Homer Simpson. It's kind of sad looking, but um, you can always do something like that, and I really like this wig. I do like this wig. I think this is a hit from Uniwigs, and I was thinking, gosh, I don't know, you know, how I look in that color, but... I like to give you guys a variety of colors so you're not always seeing me in the blondes and the reds. So. so guys, thank you so much for watching today. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. If you're in lockdown or wherever you are, I want you to know that God loves you. Have a great day. God bless you. Maranatha. Love you guys.